I had a chat with a portfolio landlord yesterday and this landlord's got 22 properties around the UK. And since the mortgage interest rates have gone up, quite considerably, he's now having a difficult time with making profit. So we had a conversation about what potential options there are. So I wanted to share just a couple of those tips with everybody else, because there's going to be so many people that are in that same situation. And really, it can be quite worrying, especially if for how many years you've had those properties, you've relied on that income, you've used that income which certainly is what the guy I spoke to yesterday, what his problem was. He's been relying on the income for so long. He's built his life around that income. And now that income's gone. So in fact, he's losing money now every single month. So it's important, I think, to share this knowledge with everybody so that everybody gets either an idea, some solutions, or it sparks you into thinking about things in your way and then you can start executing your own version of solutions. So first of all, this person has 22 properties and has always enjoyed good profits from those properties. But now half of those properties are not doing very well on a monthly income basis. And they're also not doing very well on an equity basis meaning there's not much equity in those properties. So the first thing I said to do is to get a specialist buy-to-let mortgage advisor to go through all of the existing mortgages and to identify where there are opportunities to optimize. Now, you might not be able to solve all problems just by changing mortgage lenders or remortgaging or refinancing, but there are absolutely incredible buy to let mortgage specialists that are able to think more outside the box, think more creatively when it comes to arranging your mortgage finance. It might be that you look at different portfolio finance options. It might be that you look at different ways of funding the properties. But one way or another, I think the first step that you've got to take is to have a specialist mortgage broker who specializes in buy to let. And that's important, by the way, because you've got so many mortgage brokers out there. And this is nothing against any other mortgage broker. But I have found I've been doing this for 22 years or 23 years now. I have found that specialist buy to let mortgage advisors and investment finance advisors are able to see more options and more alternatives and be more creative with the arrangement of those facilities than other mortgage brokers that kind of do a bit of everything. I suppose it's the master of trade, isn't it? Versus the jack of all trades. Not saying the jack of all trades can't do a good job, saying that sometimes a specialist is needed to do a better job. So that's probably going to offend some mortgage brokers, but it's just reality. That's just the way it is. Same in any trade, really. If you get a specialist in who specializes in that one trade, then quite often they are better than somebody who you brought in who's a bit of a, a jack of all trades. So first job, if you're in some sort of similar situation, get a specialist mortgage broker. And you know what? You can use mine if you want. I work with a specialist mortgage broker, have done for a quite a long time now. So if you want me to just connect you with my specialist mortgage broker, then I won't charge you or anything. Just I'll just connect you up by email. If you can email me, it's tom at pinkstreet.co.uk. Just send me an email. I will then connect you up with my specialist mortgage broker and my mortgage broker will analyze your existing properties, your existing mortgage facilities, your finance, your equity, your interest rates, your mortgages, and then start putting together a strategy for your existing finance and how to improve it. That's job number one. Job number two is to analyze your portfolio. Now, I'm interrupting with an important request. Use my lettings team to find your next tenant to fully manage your property or both. 
It doesn't matter whether you've already got a letting agent and you fancy a change, or you just want to find a good tenant. Email me direct. It's tom at sonegroup.co.uk. Or use my property team to find you a good buy to let property. Off market, below market value, high yield buy to let properties. Join my buy to let VIP list and we'll send those buy to let properties straight to your email. Again, contact me direct. It's tom at sonegroup.co.uk or you can message me through my Facebook page or just comment below and we'll contact you. I quite enjoy doing these. These are, <laughs> I'm a bit of a geek like that, but I quite enjoy doing those. And all I do is I go through your property list and I revalue them in three different ways. I value them also then for, this is for sale value, mortgage value and surveyor value. I then value for rent. I then analyze condition and see where there are opportunities to increase rent or increase value. Now that doesn't always mean by the way that you have to spend money. That's not always what adding value means, spending money. So I'll analyze your portfolio. This is, by the way, I'm not offering to do this, but I'm saying, well, maybe I could, maybe I could, but I was saying, I was gonna tell you to do this as job number two. And that would go in line with a mortgage broker who specializes in the buy to let finance side. They will do their part while you're doing your part. Or do you know what? If anybody wants me to analyze their portfolio, then I will. And I'm quite a geek with this stuff. So I will dissect it. I will reassess every single component of your property portfolio and I'll work out what is good or bad. Now, by the way, if I get inundated with people that want portfolio reviews, then I, I might have to say that I'm not doing those anymore. But, you know, certainly I'll do 10. So if 10 people want to contact me and get in contact quick, then I will do a portfolio review and see what opportunities you have to improve or optimize. And by the way, that's the same if you're not struggling. If you just have a good portfolio that's currently profitable, then I think it can't hurt to assess it, whether you do it yourself or you ask me to do it, to assess that portfolio and see what opportunities there are to optimize, to be more creative with the finance, to increase add value, to make more profit. So yeah, let me know. But I'll keep it to 10 though, because otherwise I'll get completely, you know, I've got my own stuff to do. I've got my own portfolio. I've got my own businesses. You know, I don't want to overload myself. So that's job number two. So job number one was get a specialist mortgage broker who specializes in buy to let. Job number two is to analyze and assess and review and replan your existing portfolio. Job number three, if you can't see opportunities in your existing portfolio to do all the things I've just said, then job number three is to start cherry picking which properties you might be able to sell in order to reduce mortgages on other properties and then reduce those mortgage payments. Now that's not to say you're gonna get rid of properties and then never build your portfolio again. But what we have to do right now is get through a tough patch. That's the important thing. We've got to make profit. And if you're not making profit right now, you've got to start right now. You have to make profit. So we'll look at properties where you might be able to sell a couple in order to reduce other areas, in order to improve other properties and add value or whatever it might be. There might be a couple of your properties that you could and should offload. So we'll have a look at those. That's job number three. Job number four is your worst case scenario, in my opinion. And by the way, there are other things you can do if you want some advice and you want to plan out a strategy, then obviously get in contact with me. I just want to help everybody in these situations. I don't charge. I just try not to take on too much. But this is why I do it, by the way. And I will get to job number four in one second as a worst case scenario. But I try and help as many landlords with their properties as possible. I try and help as many investors with properties as possible for a couple of reasons. Number one, for this right here that I'm doing right now. So I had a really good conversation with this property investor and landlord yesterday. And now I've got a really good episode with some really good content of this landlord's story and my solutions and my advice. And that's what I want to share with everybody. So every time I talk to somebody, then it gives me ideas of other ways that I can help people and give advice. Secondly, 
If you become a customer of mine, great. You know that I have letting agencies, lettings management agencies. You know I have a property broker that finds property investment deals, buy to lets, flip to lets, or BRR, whatever you want to call it. You know I have all of those things. So if you wanted to ever become a customer of mine, then I like to think that if you thought, right, I'm going to take on a letting agency now, I like to think you would think of mine. But if not, I like to think as well that you've got some good advice, you've got some good information, and you can do it yourself. So that's the only reason I do these things. Anyway, I promised you job number four. Sorry about that. Job number four is the worst case scenario, and that is to speak to a specialist portfolio sourcing agent. Now, there are sourcing agents and there are specialist sourcing uh, portfolio sourcing agents. And those are the ones that are able to sell your entire portfolio. Sounds really scary, doesn't it? But it doesn't mean you can never have property again. All it means is that you sell what you've got now, you cut your losses, you minimize damage. Because again, I see so many people just carry on and carry on and carry on, losing money, losing money, losing money, in the hope that things will repair themselves quickly. Well, if you speak to any good investor, not just in property, but in everything else, then really what you have to do is make sure you don't lose money. Minimize the damage, cut your losses, if you're going to lose money, then don't lose much. If you're going to lose money, lose as little as you can. So it might be an option for you to speak to a portfolio sourcing agent who will definitely have connections with larger investors and pension funds and other types of funds and other types of organizations that are buying portfolios because they have more money to spend and don't want to be buying one property at a time. And they do exist. So, and by the way, look, I've got a portfolio, a few portfolio sourcing agents actually that I work with. Um, I haven't actually bought a, a big portfolio myself, but I've got clients who have bought portfolios and have done very well out of them. You do have to have the same amount of due diligence with portfolios, by the way, on each individual property, because I've also seen people that have bought portfolios and not done too well out of them. Um, because you see the big numbers rather than the individual property numbers. So look, by the way, just a quick sidetrack. If you are going to buy a portfolio, do the full due diligence on every single property. Don't just look at the overall numbers because they can be a bit distracting. Anyway, yes, yeah, so the job number four is to sell your portfolio through a portfolio sourcing agent. Again, I'm happy to connect you up with people that I've worked with and that I know. So just as a quick recap there, if you have a portfolio, then do you know what? It can be the same if you only have one or two properties, to be, to be honest. It's still the same process, I guess. But job one, find a buy-to-let mortgage specialist. That's a really useful person to know. You should find one anyway. Even if you're not having difficulty, you should find one anyway because a buy-to-let mortgage specialist, are, they're worth their weight in gold. No, job number two is to reassess, analyze, dissect your entire portfolio and look for opportunities where you can add value, increase rents, decrease mortgages, and make sure you do the three valuation strategy. And then once you've done all that, job number three might be to sell off a couple of your properties in order to reduce mortgage balances or pay off some debts or however. But the idea of selling just one or two is to try and balance things out. And remember, for the next few years, you might not make as much profit as you've made before. The target here is just to stay profitable. That's the target, not to make tons of profit. If you can make tons of profit, brilliant. But the target is to get yourself balanced out, get yourself back on track, get yourself profitable. And job number four, in the worst case, is to sell the portfolio to a portfolio sourcing agent clients. So look, if you want some further help and you want me to work with you on these things, again, I can only, whenever I say these things, I get quite bombarded with people that want help, which I love doing. I, this is my favorite thing to do, is to help and see other people's successes and help people rescue, if you like, their, from themselves from their problems. So book a discovery call with me. All you've got to do is email me, tom at pinkstreet .co.uk, or you can just search Tom Sohn anywhere, you'll find me. But contact me and ask for a discovery call. I call them a discovery call because it's my opportunity to discover your problems and your 
desires and uh, <laughs> that sounds different than I intended and it's your opportunity to discover solutions ideas strategies so book a discovery call with me my PA will book us in for a good time and then we'll see what options there are what opportunities there are um, and by the way if I can connect you up with anybody that I know or anyone that I've worked with or anyone that I recommend then I just will by email like I said I don't charge for that stuff I just like to help as many people as I can I've built up a really good network over the last 20 odd years of these people so you certainly can take advantage of my network all right or if you've got any other questions let me know hi this is tom soan and i hope you found that useful now my next video is right there or you can subscribe and follow for more videos just down there or if you want to book a call with me and my lettings team or my property team then you can just click right there speak to you soon